Good morning, children. How are you? I can't hear you. Did you say something? How are you? Say loudly. Very good. You all are keeping fine. Yes. Okay. So we were studying our computer chapter two, isn't it? Uses of computer. We have studied many uses of computer. You are using your computer for different. For doing different things, yes. So uh, you are watching videos in that computer, and you are drawing pictures. Ah, uh, uh, you used to type something. Ah, uh, isn't it? So we are using computer for doing many works. Hmm? Then after that, we have studied about some places where we can find computer in banks, in schools, in shops. Ah. Uh, in the at the building section all these places computers are there so we have studied about some places you have to study any three places where we can find computer also you have to study any two uses of computer that's enough okay so a uh, ma'am will give notes you have to study that hmm? uh, today we will be doing some textual exercises also so you get ready with your textbook and notebook first of all we will revise what we have studied last class okay so are you ready yes let's begin so we are going to revise once again what we have studied last class we have studied different uses of computer isn't it we are using computer to do many things so we will once again revise all those uses of computer okay are you ready shall we begin solve sums ma'am has already told you if ma'am is giving you 1 plus 1 you can say the answer it's 2 but what if i give a number big number 432 plus 398 huh? yeah, it is not easy to do that isn't it so our computer will do it for us okay so computer will solve sums read it solve sums what is the spelling of sums s u m s solve sums okay so the next use of our computer is draw pictures we draw different pictures in computer isn't it yes draw pictures what is the spelling of draw b r a w our computer will help us to draw pictures then type to type stories and poems stories poems whatever you need you can type in our computer then next one play music you can hear music in your computer isn't it you can play music then play games See, many many games are there in your computer hmm? do you play games in your computer yes actually it's not good to spend too much time in computer and mobile phone okay ma'am will not suggest to play games on computer and mobile phone okay it will harm your eyes but in our computer lots of games are there okay we can play using our computer next use watch movies huh? often you are watching movies in computer watching cartoons and all right yes we can use computer to watch movies cartoons and all then next one stores words pictures games songs and movies see uh, in your computer what all things are there pictures are there yes videos are there yes uh, 
you can see many videos pictures are there in your computer isn't it so our computer has a super power to store everything it has a very big memory it can store everything in it okay so the computer can store everything store what is the spelling of store s t o r e store okay so these much things we have studied last class we saw what are the uses of computer playing games playing music to store everything to type then to draw pictures uh, so several uses are there so you take your textbook page number 16 one 6 okay take your textbook we will do the textual exercises hope you have taken your textbook page number 16 16 see here you can see a fill in the blanks ma'am has already done it for you i think it's very difficult to find the answers from this bracket so ma'am has already done it for you okay we shall discuss it i solve sums for you i solve sums for you the computer will solve sums for us hmm? then i draw pictures for you computer is saying that i will i can draw pictures for you then next one i store words pictures games songs and movies for you the computer can store everything movies games songs and everything this computer can store in it then next one i play games with you this computer can play games the next one i show you movies we can watch movies videos and everything in our computer then i play music for you the computer can play music the last one i help you to type stories and poems computer can type stories type everything type stories and poems okay so now you can pause this video and you can fill the blanks actually this answers are given on the top of this question so you can copy from there you see the spellings properly and don't make any mistakes hmm? write it neatly like this now you can pause this video and you can finish this exercise okay children so i hope you have finished that fill in the blanks now section b answer the following so ma'am will give us answers in your notebook okay first question name any three places where a computer is used any three places last class we have studied many places we have we are using computer shops uh, banks then schools uh, many places we have studied any three places you can tell can you say any three places just try any three places where you can find a computer are you able to say ma'am can't hear you but i hope you all said it hmm? second question how was a computer different from us how a computer is different from us so we have studied computer cannot think isn't it we can think but computer cannot think that is the difference between computer and us okay so we will give notes uh, that time you can copy it in your notebook and study okay can can you take the next page page number 17 
see you can skip this project it is not necessary then the activity section you listen question is tick the correct way to enter a computer lab see can you see two pictures here in the first one the boy is knocking the door and asking ma'am's permission to enter the computer lab but the second boy see how he is coming he is just rushing into the lab isn't it he is just rushing into the lab and saying hooray he is shouting and coming is that a right way to come into the lab no isn't it so you can put a tick mark which picture shows the correct way to enter a computer lab which one first one or the second one yes the first one we have to ask for the permission to enter the computer lab but and also don't make noise don't shout don't rush into the computer lab okay so you put a tick mark here next activity is very interesting you all love to color right you love coloring i know this is an activity you have to identify can be done on a computer one boy is painting here and the another girl is watching a video then the third boy is sleeping can you say what all activities a computer can do a computer can draw picture yes a computer can draw picture so you can color the first picture this one okay ma'am is putting a tick mark here you can color this okay a computer can draw pictures and what about this girl girl is watching videos does this computer can show videos huh? we can watch videos and movies in computer yes so you can color this picture also what about this activity a boy is sleeping here can we sleep on a computer huh? no right so this is wrong so you cannot color this picture so please don't color this third picture only color this first two pictures these two activities a computer can do okay you understood yes we have finished our second chapter also your exams are coming hmm? do you know that by the end of august or in the september month you will be having your first term exam hmm? for that exam you have to prepare well you have to study well okay study the notes and all hmm? with this ma'am is winding up today's class you all take care don't go outside stay at home obey your parents okay when your parents are calling you to study you have to be there study uh, you have to write and study everything okay with this ma'am is concluding today's class take care all bye